there, Mr. Pete. No, I don't know. That I'm was some sweatings. sort of desperate attempt to merge Hart and LA Guns <laughs> in a way that ended up probably sounding like neither. Yeah, um, exactly. But that's what we're trying to do, not to get that strike. Because <laughs> then what's going to happen? We get a strike and nobody can watch the video. So here we go. Um, hot off the press of some more amazing artists joining the Gibson family. Uh, I say joining. They've been in the Gibson family, yes. but they've kind of got some new signature guitars. So we have Nancy Wilson of Heart with the uh, Epiphone Fanatic, which is kind of her spin on a Nighthawk, which I is love very, that. very cool. Yeah, yeah. And we got the Tracy Guns from the band LA Guns, the uh, Voyager Gunstar or the Gunstar Voyager Kramer signature model, which is, I think, it's a cool looking guitar this is a shape on its own you know so it's this the, is the voyager I think it's the shape star isn't it is it yeah. based on it based on a sort of like a charvel star sort of vibe yes they call yes. it the voyager shape right so uh, but i've always loved kramer i used to have a pink I've kramer seen it. I've seen yeah you've seen the you picture you were about 12 or something yeah, i you? think yeah th something like that and i uh, stupidly swapped it for a 1976 les paul which I regret to the day. But really? I know where it is. I'm coming for you. I'm coming for it. Anyway. Shall we whiz through specs and tones and stuff? Let's so, do it. Um, I mean, Barracuda, probably one of the greatest rock songs, most iconic rock songs of all time. So uh, this is, uh, if you're not familiar with Hart and, or Nancy Wilson, that's, that's the band. That's one of the famous tunes. Loads of cool iconic sort of rock ballads as well from the 80s, All I suppose. I anyway, make love so to you. this is kind of cool. So the Nighthawk if, uh, is a, a, a shape that came into the, the Gibson catalogue probably in the 90s, I want to say. It's um, the a fairly history. compact body, slab top, a little bit smaller than a, a Les Paul or an SG, belly cuts, uh, but traditional, you know, Gibson kind of build, so mahogany body, the set in neck. Uh, and a sort of a, a non-Gibson traditional scale length. So it's 25 and a half inch scale length. Um, and I quite like what they've done on the, 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 the Nighthawk's always been a bit experimental in terms of the pickups, but I'm not sure I've seen it done quite like this. So the Nancy Wilson model has uh, an Epiphone a mini humbucker, pro mm. humbucker in the uh, neck. Love it. Has a, a pro bucker in the bridge, uh, has the Nighthawk style through bodied trim system. Oh, all right. Um, and then a five-way blade. Now, the, interestingly, there is no literature at this particular time telling me exactly what the five different positions are. But I have kind of worked out <laughs> that we've got the neck mini humbucker. Then I think we've got like a, a coil tap on that. Then I think we've got the two humbuckers, but again, still coil split. Then, or like an inner on outer coil could yeah. be. Then we've got the full humbucker. Yeah. And then I think we've got a split of the humbucker. So wow, the only, lots of tones there. Yeah, so the only thing I found a little bit, you have to be a little bit careful of, if your sort of go-to lead tone is to go bam on the switch straight back to the fat tone, naughty, naughty, remember no, no, no. you've got to be back one <laughs> yeah. to get the fat tone I think from it's here. Go. <laughs> um, I like the split inlays. I like the you know the deluxe clues and heads uh, tuners. Sorry, new headstock um, shape. Yes, it's the a new bit Epiphone a, headstock shape. It's a bit of a T style guitar in the fa in the way that it's uh, strung through the body. Um, for Les Paul, uh, Gibsons are not necessarily known for stringing through bodies. Indeed. Uh, Indeed. With the one cut, um, single cut away, you know, with a two, with a tone yeah. and a t uh, volume. So in that respect. Beautiful flame um, top here in the sort of the vintage yeah. sunburst uh, yeah. with a bit of gain on the floor from a Dane pedal. I went from anything like in its full humbuck. <laughs> Oh, the mini, mini humbucker on the front. Then you get the, some of the split sounds. More split sounds. And then the fat. And then, and then the split. Man, 
that sounds great. Really Rind. nice, really lightweight. What is, so it, what is it wood? What is it, what's the wood? Like mahogany the wood? on the back, mahogany neck, and a, a maple kind of, I guess it's a veneer. I, I don't want to get shot for that. So it's either a top or a veneer on the top. It's usually a veneer on Epiphone. Um, <laughs> a with, paneer. A, with a hard case, a paneer. Sorry. Yeah, I'm just, um, I'm just jumping my... I've just been eating that last uh, night, yeah. have you? Um, <laughs> A top with, paneer. with a hard case as well. Oh. And all for the princely sum of only £469. No. Yeah. So really what? good value. So I guess, who's this going to, you know, I think the Nighthawk has a, a bit of a, a fan following itself. Um, but Absolutely. definitely, you know, lighter body, a little bit more compact, but still got the string tension of a, of a full scale length guitar. Holy smokes. Um, I like I it. I really like it. I mean, again, always... You know, we don't see enough guitars with mini humbuckers on them. I saw the new, uh, just to change the brands, uh, the, the new Ibanez uh, AACS yes. style has got a, yes. a, a, uh, this a humbucker on in the net. And I'm yeah. really interested because I think I really, when we've done mini humbucker uh, videos, I've always liked the way they sound because it's just in between the two. Well, I mean, that's what I like on this guitar. It's quite it's like unusual fatness. that you get a mini humbucker and a humbucker yeah. on the same guitar. So yeah. you can go, so what, what do they actually quid. sound like? You know, so, so that, killing it. that's the full fat. And then... Oh. I think I'd use that mini humbucker a lot. Yeah. I really like built, it. Add extra built-in reverb there, it sounds like. Have I got extra? No, I'm there? kidding. It's because oh, I've got loads it? of reverb. <laughs> Yeah, I need a guitar with a mini Honbok. Yeah, yeah, that sounds great. I, I, I approve. Okay, well done, well, uh, Epiphone and Nancy Wilson. So we jump straight Not over to... Not that she needs my approval, <laughs> but there we go. But I do anyway. <laughs> but now she's watching this video, she's going, thank you, Lee. Yes. That was just what Thank's I needed. Much. There's 2021. 2020 I've got all your albums, terrible, Lee. And, uh, all none of them. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, come on, tell us about well, uh, Tracy. Your... So Tracy Guns, we just I met um, we met him. We did a, you did an interview with him recently, and I've got, sort of started following him on uh, on uh, Insta on Face on Twitter. I think like <laughs> ages ago, and because he does some funny tweets and he retweets stuff, and he's got politically uh, active, and I like all his stuff, and he says some funny things, and and then he started following me back. It was a chat a bit, fun, fun, and then then I followed him on Instagram, and he started following me, and then we started chatting. I found out he lives in. He lives half his time in LA, and then the other half he lives in Aarhus in Denmark. He's married to a Danish girl, and they got a little uh, son called Ole. Cool. Uh, and so we just started to chat, and and then I saw this guitar, and I mean, to be completely honest, LA Guns is not kind of the music that's been on my radar. So Tracy, you're watching this, I'm really sorry, but I am going to check it out, you know, because it's well, it, LA Guns. I mean, it's it's it, to be honest, it's, it's the, yeah. so Bill Bill Rose pre. Yeah. Axel Rose yeah, and, and Tracy Guns, Guns formed the and band Guns, uh, Guns and Roses. Roses. Yeah, so you know, you, and then I'm aware of all of that. I know that, the history, but it's never really big. There's never really been a thing that I've gone, you know, where there was some massive Guns and Roses hits. But you never really thought that oh, there's the other branch of it, especially yeah. for me. So, but definitely it's, part it's of that, that '80s hair metal kind of. I mean. It, the scene, just you know, classic, the scene yeah, in LA. The scene in LA with, you know, like, they were all those famous bands were all kind of intermingling. And I guess, yeah. you know, one or two of them went on to have perhaps, you know, a bit more stellar kind of careers. But LA Guns is cool. And, yeah, and Tracy's super been cool. in loads of cool And bands. he's a super cool dude. So Lovely watch the interview. Uh, the links will probably be below or the other way around in these videos. So check them out. But this is his Gunstar, uh, which is a cool, I love the flames. I mean, he'll also tell you a bit about it in, in the video, so there's not much do, point do about it. you know, me. just, sorry, because uh, Tracy dropped that into the video, into the interview we did, and I, I didn't say anything at the time because I didn't want to come up as like being, mm. but of course, <laughs> when he mentioned the BC Rich Gunslinger, I've heard of the Gunslinger, but I never put the guns bit from Gunslinger as uh, his that's the thing, signature isn't it? guitar. So he's, you know, he's had some cool guitars in his time. Absolutely. Hey, he's, he's a rock star, you know. He is a so, rock star. but so it's a, it's a mahogany body here and it's a three piece, uh, piece maple neck. Um, with maple boards, you can see, uh, which sets it off really nicely because it's got you know a nice spark. I don't know, can you see the sparkly finish? It's like a graphite it's like spark. A, yeah, it looks very nice. And the shape is super cool. Uh, <laughs> that is just got your toolkit on the back the of the headstock. The best thing yeah. about Kramer ever. But as he said in the interview, when you lose one of these, you're kind of uh, screwed, isn't it? Uh, Floyd Rose, a thousand series, uh, Pro Bucker neck and bridge, three-way selector switch. Now this is where it gets different. Volume for the neck, volume for the uh, for the bridge. And he said, because I never use tone control, it's always full up. So what, what's the point in having a tone control? Fair enough. Um, 
then pull split, pull split in the middle, split that, do that, split the other one, do that. So there's lots of tones in it. Um, now I am in the Kraken with a clean tone. <laughs> clean. <laughs> clean. Uh, but that's what he said he was kind of doing anyway. So it's interesting to hearing his kind of um, how he would use an amp, yeah. you know. So. <laughs> And if you split that, it's, he probably wouldn't play that kind of stuff. But he did play the little acoustic guitar mm -hmm. one on there. Uh, I've also got a flint for some reverb. I mean, that just sounds like a nice split. I'm such a fan of the when Rabir, and I'm sure you know loads of guitar players will have been doing it probably back from before yeah, Van yeah. Halen and everything. Yeah, yeah. But just an amp with quite a lot of gain in it, but everything backed off from picking lightly to give that beautiful big But that's why I wanted one tone. of these amps, you know, that yeah. was my, I was like, I, I want a Kraken because I see when we do videos with a beer that he utilizes the volume yeah. and the split of a pickup uh, and gets from, you know, from that kind of. And in the same pickup, you get. That's all from one pickup. I, I'm dialing the, the uh, sort of uh, reverb up and down because it helps with the split. Uh, so that, but that's, dial that down, man. Middle position with the two together. I'm into this guitar, you know. I'm really into this guitar. We, we, might, something we might not send this one back. Um, <laughs> I, it might just disappear. Like, where'd that guitar go? I don't know. It's just one we look for it, and oh, they come with a van, and we put the other ones in, and the, it's great, isn't it? And I guess you can you can roll down you know one the the neck. Oh, you can't. Oh, I think right. they both will on the middle position. This is the same one on Les Paul. If you turn one of the volumes all the way down, then it cuts. Ah, okay, both, I didn't get out. that. I didn't get that far earlier. So, but. Okay. How good! That, so those are Epiphone Pro Bucker pickups in there. And yeah. I, so I can't <laughs> believe how good they sound. I don't really know what good. it is, but there's something with this guitar. And the neck is kind of a slim C, but it's not too slim. I didn't think it was that slim when I played it. I, it is. I it is. It felt like it had some girth. But, but this feels like an SG neck, so quite slim. Yeah. That, but this is that I thought felt a bit fatter. Yeah, but not. So it's a 12 and some kind of inch radius and 12.6 uh, inch radius. So it's quite flat, like a Les Paul, I would think. And the scale length is 25.51 mm. or something, whatever. But so it feels natural to play. But you still get that. You have to Shandler, get used to this. The, it's not a set neck, is it? It's set through. Yeah, so it's set through. And I think he's talked about in the videos that this bit here and this, it took a while to get that because they need, he wanted the cot in here. Mm. So the way that they've managed to get with a tenon, I, I can imagine there's a longer uh, tenon. You should, well, this However. will be a separate video to the interview and I'm guessing the interview will be up first it may not be but if you if perhaps if it's around go there's the link um, yeah. and if it isn't i've just there. pointed at nothing in the sky and then it's subscribe um, as well and like the videos and all that stuff. i thought tracy was like one of the most down-to-earth like Super modest cool. rock stars and completely not whatever had whatever happens during that sort of 80s and 90s kind of party time period it hasn't left him kind of like warped or scarred has it he's no. just like normal uh, anyway, so let's move, let's move on. Uh, let's go to the back pickup. I'll start by rolling down. Uh, so I was splitting it and then. Thank you. 
still on gain one. Are, are there something about the uh, split back pickup that I'm not so keen on, but it's not too bad. If I go. Anyway, let's get more gain. I'm doing my sweep. <laughs> Middle position. Neck. It takes me back to my youth. I <laughs> love that you're getting that, all of that tone out of a guitar and a little valve amplifier. Straight into the amp. Big. There's no, no, I mean, I'm going straight into the amp. Yeah. There's no boost or anything. One pedal for reverb, but that's what was it. The, what was the one rebearded? Uh... <laughs> and what, just, just out of interest, I mean, I know the 1000 series Floyd Rose will be on tons and tons of different guitars. Yeah. And, it, and it's typically, it's the kind of the, it's the, it's the sort of slightly, like the, the one down from the super pro version. But it's, yeah. in my opinion, it's kind of, it's the one that you can rely on quite often. If you go lower than that in some of the licensed copies, they get less stable. But yeah. out of interest, with a bit of that, is it in tune still? So let's go. It's close <laughs> enough for rock and roll. It's I mean, that is... It's a good guitar. I, I really, really like this guitar. I mean, it's not... I mean, you can see me stand down the pub and play a blues song. It might not be the right guitar for that, you know. <laughs> you might not... You might be a wedding with function band. A broken arm or something, yeah, but, oh, you know. Sounds, it's but good. If, I like the way you can get the tones on the first channel. It is kind of bluesy, you know. Like, I mean, play, that's play awesome. this. Play this. Just purely and simply because, you know, I feel like I didn't, you know, it, it, I've got to give guitars to you to do them justice. Um, but, um, <laughs> but this is now, you have to remember, I'm plugged into, the, into yeah. that. That's definitely different, isn't it? The neck shape is slightly wider on this, it feels. Um, yeah, but, you know what? I take it back. This is not fatter at all. It's, it's not. It's actually, if anything, it may be a tiny bit narrower. This, this has got way. bigger shoulders on it. Yeah. That's what makes it feel fatter. Yeah. So let's just. Uh, <laughs> A, a, a small, a, hum, a, a mini humbug of split sounds better than a full humbug of split. In my opinion, people, okay? But doesn't it though? It's, is there much? I think sounds generally, more stratty, coil or more... splits at the neck are easier to get away with than coil splits. Yes, but the this, place, I think. I'm surprised that the mini humbugger splits so well. That's sound good. That's assuming that that's what the control is. Yeah, I that's assuming it is. <laughs> it could be. It could bring. It could in. be something else completely. But there we are. Mm. 
that was the middle position, so that's a full... Sp so now this is the full humbug. And then the... Killing it. Killing it. I mean, I love that amp as well. That does but just, That's just the amp. Nothing else. Hey, no. peeps. Good, good demo. Good, good demo. Good, that, yeah, these are great guitars. So that's about um, $8.99, I think. And it comes with a gig bag. A Kramer gig bag, uh, which is nice. So well, there we go. Well done. Okay, thank you very much. I, I, I'm not entirely sure if you'll ever see Tracy Guns and Nancy Wilson in the same room again, uh, <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed what we brought you. Um, and uh, thank I've you been very Nancy. much for watching. Yes, <laughs> and I've been Tracy. Well, there we are. Uh, like and subscribe <laughs> to our really weird channel. Hit the notification because you have to do that. You don't want to miss any more of this stuff. <laughs> see you later, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>